Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte. We are taking a look today at the series in the Honda West Division between the second seeded Vegas Golden Knights and the third seed Minnesota Wild. This is a little bit of a hairy matchup and we'll be taking a look at that in this video. If you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the rest of of our NHL playoff preview series, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below to stay up to date on everything in the 2021 Stanley Cup playoffs. And let's get right into it. So guys, the Vegas Golden Knights, the second seeded team in the Honda West division, will be taking on the third seed, Minnesota Wild. Two teams that were in a little bit of different spots going into this season. Vegas was the favorite to win this division. And the Minnesota Wild, a lot of people had them missing the playoffs in this division. They had teams like the Arizona Coyotes, maybe even the LA Kings, the San Jose Sharks, maybe competing for a playoff spot. And the Minnesota Wild were that team. And I, I've been saying this all season, humble brag, but I did predict the Wild to get into the postseason. Maybe not this matchup though, but that's part of it. So the Minnesota Wild and the Vegas Golden Knights. These are two teams that, like I said, going into this season, very different expectations. The Wild were a fringe, maybe playoff team, and the Vegas Golden Knights were potentially a division winner and a cup contender. But now that we're going into this series, I think the verdict has definitely changed over this 56-game season. The mentality of the Minnesota Wild is really what's changed here. Vegas, we knew they were going to be good. They were going to be first or second with the Avalanche at the top of this division. But the Minnesota Wild, the way they played this season, they were not far behind the Vegas Golden Knights in terms of points. And it made for an interesting potential series here in the first round of the postseason. So looking at how things went this season... That was a heck of a story in itself. You look at the record, the Minnesota Wild in this series, okay, they played each other eight times. The Minnesota Wild pick up, picked up at least one point in seven of the eight games against Vegas this season. Yes, that's right. Five, one, and two was the record for the Minnesota Wild against Vegas this year. Vegas's record against Minnesota is a measly 3, 4, and 1, which definitely adds a little bit more of a storyline going into this series. The goal is 4, pretty much even. Now it is in favor of Vegas by one goal. 24 goals for the Vegas Golden Knights in this series and only 23 for the Minnesota Wild. But again, it's a one, one goal difference, which in most of these series, is it's a little bit bigger of a gap. Uh, this is a pretty small gap between these two teams in that regard. Uh, the top leading scorers throughout this series this season, Mark Stone had a really impressive season this year against the Wild. He picked up two goals, eight assists for 10 points in the eight games against Minnesota. And Kirill Kaprizov, no surprise here. We'll be talking a lot about him here. Uh, six goals, two assists in the eight matchups. Uh, that's eight points in eight games against the Minnesota Wild, uh, against the Vegas Golden Knights. So, the Vegas Golden Knights, right, going into the season, like I said, their storyline was this was a team that was destined to be a cup contender and was going to add at the deadline, and they this is their year to win. And they had some they had some issues along the way. Obviously, you have a guy like Robin Leonard go down, who was your one a, part of your one A one B rotation with Mark Andre Fleury. That hindered them for a little bit, but they you know when they fell off the tracks a little bit, they always seemed to get themselves back you know, to regular footing. And that's something about Vegas, their consistency is hard to ignore. They are a very consistent, consistently good team in the NHL. Now, if you look at something else, the William M. Jennings Trophy for the least goals allowed in a season, that was given to the Vegas Golden Knights as they were able to do that this year. So Robin Leonard, Marc-Andre Fleury, congratulations. I posted that video yesterday. Make sure to check that out. But I talked about that and how Vegas uh, won that trophy. And that was a big deal for them. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. The goaltending tandem, very solid as well for, um, for, for the Vegas Golden Knights. And, and that adds just another layer because now Vegas, despite not having that great of a record against the Minnesota Wild, they have the more experienced team. They have more depth. If we're going to be honest, especially down the middle, 
and their goaltending is extremely solid. And that's something that a little bit pales in comparison to Minnesota, even though, you know, Devin, uh, not even Devin Dubnik, Cam Talbot and Capo Kakinen had pretty good seasons this year. It, it wasn't to the level of guys like Mark andre Fleury and Robin Leonard. So now comes the question, you know, Minnesota has been one of those teams where they've been a fringe playoff team. They were rebuilding under Bill Guerin. But it seems like they are at least two or three years ahead, of course. And a lot of you Wild fans have mentioned that. And a lot of that has to do with Kirill Kaprizov. Now, the question is, how far will Kirill Kaprizov, by himself, take the Minnesota Wild? This is a big year for Kaprizov. He could be having a contract extension this summer. There are things on the table for Kaprizov where he is playing to not only win, but to play for his next contract. I would expect Kaprizov to be on his best game uh, in this series. And if the Vegas Golden Knights were to lose this series, what would have to happen? Honestly, a perfect series from Kirill Kaprizov and really good goal tank from Minnesota. And it could happen. It really could happen. And that's why when I announced my predictions for this series, it's not that easy for me because these are two very good teams. And going into the season, I would have said, oh, easy series for, for Vegas. That, that is not the case. Minnesota really turned it up a notch this year. The belief in this team, the hype around this team with Kirill Kaprizov has just been unreal. And the problem is they lack in goaltending. And they lack in experience. They have a lot of young guys on this Minnesota Wild team. And those are two factors for me that are crucial, especially when determining a playoff series. So with that said, you probably can guess that I am going to pick the Vegas Golden Knights in this series. My prediction, Vegas Golden Knights win this series in six games. Yes, I think six games. The Minnesota Wild, I know it's frustrating. I have a lot of Wild fans out there. Big shout out to you guys. You guys have been always supporting the channel. Every time I post a Wild video, it goes nuts. Whether it was the Kaprizov video or the Wild potentially going on a cup run, which now I'm predicting them to get kicked out in the first round. But, you know, a lot of you Wild fans out there are actually happy this is the matchup instead of the Colorado Avalanche. You know, you favored well against the Vegas Gold Knights this season. You had their number. One of the few teams in you know, in that division to have Vegas's number. And the emergence of Kaprizov and the spirit in that room, that is something you cannot ignore. And for me to even say six games for Vegas is a little bit terrifying uh, because I know what I've seen in the postseason before. We've seen the Wild do this in the past as well. But I'm going to go with the Vegas Golden Knights. I think they just have a team that is, it's, it's on paper and everything around it. They have the group, their structure, the way they play. They're very good defensively. They have good goaltending. And defense wins championships. And Vegas added to that last season. I think they're just too good. I think in six games, Vegas Golden Knights win this series. But don't be surprised if this goes to seven. Or even the crazy thought, but I, I really, the Minnesota Wild could win this series. That is just how close I have these teams. I have a lot of respect for the Wild. I think they're going to be a really tough out for Vegas in this year's playoffs. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What are your predictions for this series between the number two seed Vegas Golden Knights and the number three seed Minnesota Wild in the Honda West division matchup between these two teams? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see more Stanley Cup playoff coverage here for the 2021 postseason, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.